What's going on, everybody? This is Renegade Number One, aka the Feminist Killer. Hashtag Logitorian. Understand that sex is her only weapon, right? And if you understand that sex is her her only weapon, you should learn how to live without it, right? This is the weapon that she uses to move up in the company. This is a weapon that she uses to get money to pay her bills. This is her most powerful possession, her pussy. And obviously millions of guys fall for this trick every time because they think with their dicks, unfortunately. So your ultimate objective is, are you really blackpilled if you're still falling for the pussy spell? If you're still falling for the pussy spell, you are not black pill. You have to be willing to abstain from sex. And really, I don't know if I said this before, but sex is a mental thing. I'll say that again. Sex is a mental thing. It's it's nothing more than that. When a female is dressing in revealing clothing and in, in, in skimpy clothes, she's trying to get you sexually aroused. But your objective as a man or at least for myself is combat those sexual thoughts don't allow yourself to think in a sexual manner that way you don't get sexually aroused it's all about the mind if you have sexual thoughts in your mind then she's going to be able to get you sexually aroused and she'll be able to control you because you're like a fucking dog who's salivating at the mouth while the owner has the doggy tree and they're just doing whatever they want with it they can just control you at that point and when you're sexually aroused they're disabling your logic and that's really what women do women know that that's all they are is sex is just sex objects right and it's funny i laugh at women who say oh men they objectify us and i don't like that but when it comes to being a fucking model, last time I checked, a model is a sex object. But the thing is, they don't complain because they get paid to do it. You understand? A model is literally you are a sex object and you, you get paid to do it. Now, the thing is, once you disable her weapon, you transcend the physical and she no longer has power over you. Right, then you can call yourself black pill. A lot of people, a lot of guys want to ascend to the black, the black pill uh, uh, stratosphere, but they they gotta master the physical. And again, sex can cause suffering in your life because again, all desires are suffering. So if you desire something that you can't obtain on a day to day basis. Ultimately, you're left in disappointment. You you constantly complain that you can't get laid. You know, you're like a like a drug addict fiending every time you don't get the drug. But if you start to go through withdrawal stages early and go through those those grinding moments where you have to get off of it, then eventually you will find yourself being a master of discipline. And, and that's ultimately, for me, in my opinion, that's what the black pill is about, is being a master of discipline. And again, I'm not there all the way. It's all a process. And you got to be willing to go to that point. Because again, these women, I see women all the time trap men in relationships because men think with their dicks too much. I see women all the time fucking getting, getting, um, uh, getting uh guys to give them a kid and the next thing you know they're crying that they got to pay child support they can't afford it they got to go to jail and all type of shit goes downhill after that all because you chose to get to think with your dick std rates you fucking with a chick who has stds you know and then next thing you know you have it you stuck with it for the rest of your life you understand sex is her weapon you're going to hear me say that a lot throughout this video. You know, it's something that I really want you guys to really seal in your brain. You know, 
If you are a guy who is emotional and you like to invest emotionally with women, you got to understand that when if you still choose to indulge sexually or in relations with women, you cannot have emotions with them. Because if you attach to that female, what happens? And then she leaves you, then you end up depressed and you end up suffering because you attached. So the ultimate test is I advise that you guys, even if I I advise that you guys reject women, even if you can get laid to test if you can live without sex, even if sex is at your disposal, you should still learn to reject it. You don't need to always say yes to sex. Men have men can have standards, too. That's the ultimate goal. See, women, they think they can just give us sex when they feel like it. No, we take it when we feel like it. For me, I've been no fapping for almost two weeks now and I feel good. No masturbation, no porn, no nothing. That stuff can really fuck you up. You know, but again, like I said, you got to have the willpower. And if you don't know who David Goggins is, well, you should look him up. He stresses it the most. Own your mind. If you don't own your mind, your mind is going to own you. Right? Don't let your dick think for you. Your dick will put you in uh, in situations that you don't want to be in. Right? You got to understand the the 20 minutes of pleasure or the 30 minutes of pleasure or whatever it is. It can create 20 years worth of pain. A lifetime worth of pain. Right? And so it's very important that you look at the mistakes that millions of men have made and learn from them. Wise people learn from other people's mistakes. They don't just fuck themselves up and then be like, oh, okay, I know now. At that point, it's too fucking late. You got too many kids at that point. You're getting raped by child support. You know, you won't have time to yourself. So ultimately, I, I've, I've made videos on it before, but the ultimate goal for you should be, OK, work on my impulse control, work on controlling my sexual urges. I've rejected and I'm not trying to inflate my own ego. I have rejected women who were attractive before. You know, but for me, I'm conditioning myself to be without sex even if it's at my disposal it's kind of like learning to be without sugar or you know breaking yourself out of an addiction that's all it is pussy is an addiction you know and i think you know being black pilled and seeing things the way they are and understanding that they'll never change that's what they are it i'm okay with how it is and that's how you guys got to understand that's what you guys have to understand is Every female is like this. Every female, her desire is to manipulate you with her body because the male, the male, his only criteria out of a female is her body. Nothing else for females. Her desire is a good looking man, a, a man with status, a man who can protect her. So. For the female, her, her criteria is much complicated. So she's going to require much out of you, right? So it's it's a big deal for you to be able to control your sexual desires. It is. It's a big deal. And um, I just think for some men, I hear some men say they can't do no fap. You shouldn't say can't. You have to be mentally tough. Get yourself to that level where you can where you can see past the bullshit. Right. And let's talk about reading damaged women. Right. Most women today have no fucking class. Right. So why would you want to seek a relationship or anything sexual? Be aware that when you have sex with a female, you are exchanging energy with that female 
You understand? You can tell most women today, if you really look at them, they have this hollow look in their eye. Right. The feeling of emptiness. A lot of them are just so fucked up in the head that they you can just tell right off the back. They're, they're, they're depleted. They're exhausted. You know, they're just they're just gone. Right. You can look in their eye and tell they're a whore. And see, um, I was talking with a brother probably a few weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, and I was telling him. Just because a woman is sexually attractive, big ass, big titties, nice face, does not make her beautiful, does not make her attractive. For me, a woman who's beautiful, which is a lost art today, is a woman who brings a positive energy to your life. A, a, a non-degenerate energy. Right. You can tell when a female is a whore, when she's a Jezebel, you can just feel the energy, how she her, her demeanor, how she walks, how she talks, the fucking makeup. You can look in her eyes. Like I said, you can see that zombie like look in her face. A lot of these slutty women, they got the same energy. That's a, that's something that you got to realize is a man who can't control himself sexually. He will fuck anything. But a man who knows how to practice abstinence, he's a man who can filter out the bullshit. Now, again, for some of you men who who want to find a virgin, you're not finding no fucking virgin in today's age, especially in the Western, the Western civilization, the Western society. You can barely find it in the world because, again, what what is a. Uh, what is uh, the media today propagating? Sexual pro uh, promiscuity. Right? Sexual liberation. You got women who, let's be honest, a lot of women are having sex with the same gender and having sex with men. A lot of these women are damaged. And the thing is, let's let's go ahead and get this out. I think women, they shouldn't be allowed to sleep with numerous men. But I do think that men can sleep with numerous women. And here's why. Men, we have infinite sperm. Women have limited eggs. Right. So when we have sex with women, though our energy is exchanging, we're not being inseminated with sperm. Women are. Right. Women are constantly being imprinted with the all the male partners that they uh, fuck. So the thing is, when you fuck a chick who's fucking other guys, part of her personality is still from the guy that she had sex with before. Right. Microchimerism. I've discussed that before. And the thing is, why would you want to start a family, marry a chick who another guy fucked? Put his DNA in there. And so again. Essentially. A woman. You got to understand. A woman's most valuable asset is her body. And once that's damaged. Once that's tarnished. She is nothing. There's a reason why. 10,000 years ago. Or 2,000 years ago. Why they. Uh, why kings. They they killed their they killed their daughters. If they, they uh, had sex out of wedlock. You know, because they knew the female psyche was damaged once she was exposed to casual sex. Look at today's age. Women, they they uh, practice casual sex like it's fucking like it's fucking exercise, like it's normal. Right. They think because men can do it, that they can do it. That's that equality feminism bullshit that they've been indoctrinated with. They're not genetically made the same way as men. Look at the animal kingdom. The male species, most of them, not all of them, the male species is the one that's going around impregnating different female partners, not the female. Same thing with humans. The female human is not meant 
to be fucking numerous men. It's not natural. And you wonder why all of these women, they can't stay in a long term relationship because they're too fucking unstable. They're used to being dicked down and thrown to the curb. They're used to short term dysfunctional relationships. You understand? So why get in a relationship with a whore? Now, if a chick is a virgin, you may have a chance to imprint her. But even like I said, a traditional relationship is suicide. So you're fucked either way. But I'm just breaking it down on both sides. You go the conservative Christian traditional route by fucking a, a virgin. You still won't get fucked over in marriage. You fuck a whole ass promiscuous bitch. Guess what? You still going to deal with dysfunctional, fickle minded women. Right? You're fucked either way. So the best choice is practice abstinence, living without sex. If you can master living without sex or satisfying yourself sexually, uh, i.e. get a sex doll or masturbate, then you're good. Women don't have power over you. You can walk past a chick on the street and she can be wearing skimpy clothing and you won't even acknowledge her because you can see right through her mating strategies. And again, a woman wearing sexual clothing, that's a form of a mating strategy. And once you are immune to her mating strategies, you can't be fucking touched. That's what you have to understand. That's what you have to master. But this is Renegade number one. Like the video, share, subscribe. Peace.